This is the Map My Assessment landing page. If you haven't created an account, you need to register for an account. Once you've registered for an account, you just need to log in. Once you've logged in, you'll see that there are a number of elements to Map My Assessment. There's the program maps. These have been created for you and are, have been made publicly available. So for example, if you're a student and you wish to see a map of your program, you should be able to search and see this. You can also create a map, which is a personal map related to your own account. This means you can put together courses from different programs across different faculties and create your own map, which will help you to manage your time and understand the, the key pinch points of assessment and feedback. Moving over, um, these are my maps. So these are maps you've already created that you can view or export or edit. Underneath this is the Assessment Hub, which is a one-stop shop for anything to do with feedback and assessment. You can change your login here and you can edit your profile there. Once you've created a map, you can view these in the My Maps section and you can create as many maps as you like. This is an example of a map which has been created, which shows the key points of assessment. So for example, um, the ones in circle are summative assessments. And as you put your cursor over the button, it provides you with some information about that particular assessment. The triangles are to do with formative assessment. And this will have been created for you by your program leader or course leader. By clicking onto the button, you can find information about that assessment and that can link to anything. In this case, it links to a YouTube video. Clicking onto the circle will reveal any other information about that assessment. So, for example, it might be a Moodle page containing uh, assessment briefs or further information about that assessment. It may also be a video of a member of staff talking about that assessment. If you wish, you can also print out a, uh, a diagram of this um, in these different formats. So to create a map, you click onto the link to create map. And to search for your courses, use the search field here. So I'm going to type in something which contains the word comp here. This will bring up um, different courses containing this information. And once the information has been put into your course, all you need to do is just add the course up here. And then save the map and give it a name. If there's information in that map, it will appear and play. The Assessment Hub will provide everything you need to know about feedback assessment at the University of Greenwich. It's divided into a number of different sections. You just need to go into the section that you want to find out about, for example, here, and it will give you a lot of information around marking criteria and some videos as well, which might explain what that's about with further reading if needed. If you're a member of staff wishing to use my assessment and you need to put specific information in, most of this will be uploaded from Banner. However, some of it may be missing, in which case you'll need to manually update the information. Once you register and request admin rights, log in as usual and go to admin. You have uh, the options of, of adding new or listing um, assessments, types of assessment, courses, departments, faculties, etc, etc. So for example, if I wish to see if my program is there, I click onto a list, uh, look at civil engineering and see the information that's provided. The same applies to courses. If I wish to see a course and associate that with a program, I can filter 
up here to find the course ID for information about that. Click onto it, see the information, and if it's not listed, I need to uh, add the program code up here and it will find it and then associate it with that program. The key information that you need to put in is assessment information and this is driven through the assessment code, the CRN, for each assessment which will be entered into Banner at the start of the academic year. It will provide you with a certain amount of information about what contains within that assessment um, and which course it's attached to. If, for example, I know the code, the CRN, I can click into that code and that information will be there. Alternatively, I will need to add that information manually. You can see here there's a particular type of assessment, but also the due date and the feedback date. Information about the due date is critical so that the map corresponds to the assessment within the academic timeline. Feedback is also very important. You need to publish this in order to be compliant with university regulations. Um, you can look at the university calendar to look at the academic week. You need to put in the weighting of that assessment. Again, all this information should be in the course outline or from Banner. If you wish, you can put information in about a website or a website containing a video or any information here. Just type that in. And when you click onto the bubble, circle or the triangle, you'll get taken to that URL. You can state whether it's formative or summative, uh, the type of feedback um, that you will give back to students, whether that's raw, written, group, oral or other, type of assessment and the course to which that piece of assessment is associated. You can update this at any time and save it.